Automobile? It's a motor vehicle. It runs with a motor. It's an automobile. I don't I'm know. not going to get into this conversation with you. I just need to know if you've got a driver's license or not. I've, as I said, I'm, I'm not a driver. I'm a traveller. Yeah. No, do you mind turning the car off for me, please? What, what is the reason for that? Well, like, if you I, are John Paul Karimba, your license is disqualified. I just showed. As such, you no, are I just showed you. I just showed you who I am. Yeah. That, John, that's John Paul. John Paul. No, no, Kramer. my given name. Date of birth, 22nd October My given name. That's my given name. Your driver's license is that, disqualified. That's not... Um, that's, yeah. No, no, that, that's... you. That's not me. You're asking me who I am. You can you can argue that with whoever you want to. Mm -hmm. as, as it stands right now, your name is John Paul Karimba. No, it's Your driver's John Paul. license is disqualified. No. As a result of that, no, are you, you are trying to... Are you trying to... Are, do you know what personage? Are you trying to commit personage? No, I'm, I'm using the South Australian criminal law that we've got. You're committing personage. I've just told you who I am, John Paul. That's my given Christian yep, name. John Paul Karimba. No, that's not me, sir. That's, that's a person. On your birth that's a person. That's in all yep, caps that's letters. On your birth you know what? You can that's... argue that. No, I'm not arguing anything. I'm not joining with you. Time, you're under arrest. What for, sir? I'm you not under arrest. Can you? What are you investigating? Hey, what are you investigating? Your, your driver's license is disqualified. You are driving disqualified. That is not me, sir. Right. You can argue that later. At this point in time, you're under arrest. Turn the car off. I'm not under arrest. You are, mate. You said you're I've, under arrest. Turn I've told the car you off. Step am. out of the car, please. You're under arrest. I need you to get out of the car, please. I've told you who I am. You said ask you identify Either yourself. You get yourself out of the car, or I'll pull you out of the car. That's where we're at right now. Mm. Okay, just let me. Uh, I, I don't know why you're doing this, sir. But to be honest with you, because just... you're driving disqualified with unassigned plates on your vehicle. No, there's that's... also unregistered and uninsured. No, that's that's not mine. That's not mine, sir. This is my ve this is my automobile. Yep. Right, there's my automobile. As I said, you've asked my camera. Is it a push start, Connor? Hmm? Oh, where is it? No, it's an automobile. Yeah. Oh, yeah, push start, sorry, yeah. So, what, what, oh, no. what did you... Step out of the car, mate, you're under arrest. For what? For driving, driving disqualified, disqualified in an unread, uninsured plate. car with on a side plate. Step out of the car. I'm not... That's not me. Right, this is your Step out of the car. That's not me, guys. Step out of the car. I'm not... This, I'm not contacting you, that's not me. I'm not contracting with you, that's not me. That's what I'm going to do. I don't want to leave your car unsecured. Oh, I'm not, it's not my car. I mean, that's not my, that's not my name. Oh, you guys are trying to, uh... Do you want to go grab your phone? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Jump off. John Paul. John Paul. Just John Paul? That's my question name, John okay. Paul. Okay. John, all right. Make you fully aware, all right, that it's an offence to state a false name to me or my colleague. All right, so I'll ask you again. State to us your full and correct name. John Paul. Hey, what's your date of birth? Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. 22nd of the 10th, 1979, but I can't be a verifier of that. Yeah, what's the oh, date nice. of birth and your birth certificate, mate? Is that, that what that's it what it says on the birth certificate. Yeah, but that's, that's in there, I think. Yeah, you've cited that. Yeah. Okay. And you're telling me that you're not John Paul Quarimba? Wait a second, something's not right. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? You need to put your foot on the brake and then push the button. Nah, that's off. Yeah, and then push, put your foot on the brake to turn it off. Yeah, cool. Right, that should be it. Yeah, lights, So you're saying to me that you're not John Paul Quirkenbar? I'm John Paul. Alright. That's better. Happy with that? Before you hop into the car, we just need to give you a brief search. Sure. Make sure you don't have anyone who's going to hurt yeah. yourself or others. Do you, do you want to just that stuff you've already got on in your hands there? Do you want to place it on top of it yes. or you can place it down there? I don't want to. Whatever you're comfortable with. Alright, mate, do you want to take your hands off your head or give you a quick pat down, alright? Just chuck on top of your head, mate. There's nothing else on here, there's nothing sharp. No, sir. You got any necklaces on? No, sir. No. What's the other key on your car key ring? Oh, it's the one. Is that for your house? <laughs> no, it's an old, old shit. Yeah, old. Okay. You're not, you're not living, you don't need access via those keys? Yeah, I'll tell you.
All right, just one sec before you go through this, I just want to make sure there's nothing else in here that I need to worry about. But there isn't, that's good. John. Yep. All right, so as you're under arrest, you're entitled to rights, okay? You're entitled to make in the presence of a police officer one telephone call to a nominated relative or friend to inform of your whereabouts. Do you understand this right? I hear you. Do you have any requests in relation to this right? I would like to make a phone call. Yep, we can facilitate that when we're at the station. You're entitled to have a solicitor, relative or friend present during any interrogation or investigation to which you may be subject to whilst in custody. Do you understand this right? Can you repeat that? You're entitled to have a solicitor, so a lawyer, relative or friend present during any interrogation or investigation to which you may be subject to whilst in custody. Do you understand this right? Yeah, yeah. Do you have any requests in relation to this right? Uh, uh, have you got a lawyer? I would like to have someone. Yep. Yeah. All right, we can arrange that. If English is not your native language, you can be assisted at interrogation by an interpreter. Do you understand this right? Yeah. yeah. Pretty sure you're English. Do you have any requests in relation to this right? My well, native no, tongue is, yeah. is Spanish. Yeah, but you're fluent in English. I mean, the conversations we've yeah. had have been pretty good. You shall, while you remain in custody, be entitled to refrain from answering any questions. Do you understand this right? Mm -hmm. I warn you that anything you do say may be taken down and given in evidence. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. After you've been taken to the Vic Tarbour Police Station, you're entitled to apply to the officer in charge for release on bail. Do you understand this? Can you repeat that bit? So after you've been taken to the Vic Tarbour Police Station, you're entitled to apply to the police officer in charge, so the cell sergeant, um, for release on bail. Isn't it the first opportunity, the magistrate, and the magistrate's court's open today? No, so we've got to lodge you into the police systems first, then you can make an application to apply for bail. To the magistrate? To, no, to, to the police officer in charge for bail. Isn't it the first opportunity that I should be presented to the no, magistrate? first opportunity no. you're presented to a cell sergeant, police officer in charge of the nearest custodial we're, facility. We're required to bring you to the nearest custodial facility. The nearest custodial facility is the police station. So the, the, the court's, the court's, not, court's a not a custodial facility. facility. Yeah? Yes, okay. Cool. All right. So, but, yeah, I said that you said you have to... You just repeat that last bit you said yeah, to me. So, after you've been taken to Victor Harbour Police Station, you're entitled to, to apply to the police officer in charge for release on bail. So That's you, a presumption. I'm saying that I'm allowed... To, that's supposed to be the magistrate. Well, that's not the process. I believe it is, but... Okay. okay. All right. Any questions those, so far? Just that one. Yeah. All right. No worries. Get rid of this bag. Oh, yeah, cheers. Just throw it in, mate. You guys follow me or something weird? Pardon? You guys follow me around? Uh, not necessarily you, but that, that car uh, we were interested in. The plates weren't matching up with the VIN, but we will talk about that after. Yeah, 
probably get her to take the plates off it though. Yeah, uh, yeah I'll talk to John about that as well. So as we see. Still opposite. Thank you. Uh, I'm just going to get the camera and stuff. There's nothing sharp in this, is there? Just paperwork. Just paperwork. Yeah, that's what I do. One of those I could squeeze. I'm going to get through your paperwork. It's all right. Yeah, it's fine. John, you said before you weren't sure if you wanted to have a lawyer present at all in relation to a potential interview that we might have with you. Um, do you want a lawyer present or a friend or a relative present? I do, but it's... Uh, do you know who? Like, can, can I ring someone for you? Yeah, but they're, they're interstate. Um, so what if it, if I can't get through to that? Because I've got multiple... There's a legal department. I'll give you more than one phone call. I don't know the... Why rights? You only get one, but yeah. I'll give you multiple, mate. It's not an issue. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Just who do you want me to call, or what what numbers? Okay. Because once once we go into the cells, uh, that's going to have to go off, yep. or at least be put on like airplane sure. mode. So grab whatever numbers you need. I'll write them down. Okay. And, yeah. and we'll do it okay. that way. Yeah. 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 No, worries. I'm going to try and find some phone numbers for a lawyer. Potentially, you might want to ring. Oh, so, okay. Oh, four. Yeah. Two. yeah. And who's that? That's uh, his name's Spiros. Spiros. Is he a mate or a lawyer or? or? Yeah, he's a retired lawyer. Lawyer. Yeah. Okay. He's cool. A sort of senior counsel. Um. Also. So, 04, 08, oh, so this is Brian Shaw. Brian Shaw. 048, oh, and we've got. Peter Little. Peter Little. 0434. Um, 
Oh, and, sorry, one more. So the yeah. first, if you can maybe make, just put number one, Spiros. I'll let you ring now if you want. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yep. Yeah, I mean, you're welcome to use that, or I can use mine, yeah, no, mate. It's up no, to you. Right. Yeah. Whatever you want. But once we go into the cells, if you want to ring them again, yeah. it'll have to be from one of our phones. Yeah. Oh, okay, got you. Yeah, all right. I got you. All right. Um, now, that camera up there, those two cameras, yeah. they're both functional. Those are audio recording things there. I can see that you're recording there. Yep. You can't record in a police station, so I'll ask you to turn that one off. But obviously, these are available to you. And at the end of it, if you do want that recording, you apply for it under Freedom of Information. Okay. Okay. All right. So just start recording. Yeah, if, if you could, please. I thought, I thought there was a thing in fairness in law. That that's well, if you're allowed to record, the, 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 the issue is that we, within the police station, yeah. right, people can have conversations, and they're private conversations, especially in relation to like sensitive subject matter, as you can imagine, because we okay. deal with lots of different things. Right. And the issue is, if we've got a recording device in here that we don't know about, yeah, it, it can cause a lot of issues in relation to uh, you know potential victims being further victimised and whatever else. So turn that one off for me, please.